Hi guys, I am going to show you how to make this Southwestern salad with cilantro lime grilled chicken. And I'll also show you how to make a very simple cilantro lime ranch dressing to go on top. To make your cilantro lime grilled chicken, you're going to marinate your chicken for as long as you can. Um, I would say at least four hours. Mine is going to marinate for about six hours. You could always marinate it in the morning before you go to work. So you're going to need four large boneless skinless chicken breasts. I usually don't measure the marinade ingredients. I'll just give you a rough estimate. So I usually use about two tablespoons of olive oil, the juice of a small lime. I have about a quarter of a cup of cilantro and I'm going to finely chop that. Two cloves of garlic and I'm going to mince those. And then I usually add a little bit of salt and pepper maybe a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt and maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. So I just add that all to a small dish. So you'll just add your chicken breast to a dish, pour your marinade over top, refrigerate it for at least four hours. To make my cilantro lime ranch dressing, I have a half cup of cilantro and two tablespoons of lime juice in my food processor. I'm going to add one cup of sour cream and about a half of a cup of my ranch seasoning mix. I'll put the recipe for this below, but if you would like, you can just use a ranch seasoning packet, and then I'm going to process all of that until it's nice and creamy. So this is what the cilantro lime ranch dressing will look like. It's just a very simple dressing, and if you do make this dressing, just go ahead and refrigerate it until you're ready to serve it. Once your chicken has sat out for about a half an hour, you're going to go ahead and grill it. Usually it takes about seven to eight minutes on each side, depending on the thickness of your chicken. So you can count on, you know, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. I am not the griller in the house, so my husband's going to do that for me. Once your chicken is grilled, you're going to want to let it sit for about 10 minutes and then slice it. This is everything else that I use to assemble my Southwestern salads. Now you can just put everything in dishes and let your family or friends just make their own salads or you can just go ahead and, you know, assemble the salads. And any of these things you can leave out if you don't like them. This is just everything that I like. So I have some organic baby spring mix, which I really like for salads, but you can definitely just chop up some romaine or lettuce, whatever you like. And then I have some black beans and I drained and rinsed those and I added just a little bit of salt, cumin and garlic powder just to make sure they had a nice flavor. And then I have some corn. I had frozen corn and I just cooked it and drained it. And then I have some shredded Colby Jack cheese some chopped green onions, some cilantro, tomatoes, and then I have some tortilla chips. I'm going to show you how I assemble my salad. So to start with, I just go ahead and, you know, pile my plate with lettuce. I use quite a bit because this is a dinner and you want, you know, a nice big salad. And then I tuck the tortilla chips in under the salad um, just to kind of make it look nice. And then I just go ahead and add everything else. So I just put some of the black beans, corn, tomato, cilantro, green onion, and a little bit of the cheese. Once your chicken is grilled and sliced, you can add your chicken to the top and then serve your dressing alongside. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I think it's very delicious. So I hope you'll give it a try. Thank you so much for watching.